late October. And the sun moved in Scorpio last night, which means we move into the underworld. We go fully into the, the underworld when the moon goes into Scorpio, which is still a month away. But we're there. We've hit the deep dive. And uh, for some people, they mourn <laughs> that part of the year that starts to go away. And for others of us, we're like, Cackling and happy. Um, so, <laughs> I was thinking about, well, my daughter's in Paris right now, and she sent me a picture, sent, uh, a picture of, uh, from a bridge, and, you know, all the way across the bridge is the backside of the Notre Dame, and it's just a beautiful, classic shot. You know, beautiful light, beautiful clouds, like the whole bit. And she was laughing. She was like, I can hardly walk across a bridge in Paris. It takes me 30 minutes to walk across any bridge in Paris because there's just it's just so beautiful. There's so much to see. I start on the bridge thinking I'm going to that place over there, and then I just end up on the bridge. And I was like, oh, how wonderful. That's that's the whole reason you go, right? That's the whole reason. And, you know, it's, it's that thing in our practice where we're always heading to the other side of the bridge and we never just, like, enjoy, you know? There's always some uh, trying to get more strong or more open or, or all those things in practice instead of just being content in the practice, which is actually a... a a virtue is called santosha, where you are you're finding the place where you're you're content with where you are, that you don't need to grab for more. And it's totally antithetical to our cultural mindset, and so it's hard work because even like as people who are you know doing yoga or doing any sort of self awareness practices or spiritual practices they're they're so often about you know getting I'm, I'm trying to better myself like you know eventually 30 years of trying to better yourself is exhausting <laughs> yeah. um or attaining that's a big word in more classical viewpoint of yoga is to attain right and but really, it's, it's this place where can we just be in a place of santosha, where there is contentment with where we are. And that's not to say that in 2017, you should be content with pretty much anything that's happening on a bigger <laughs> level, right? That's not healthy. Um, but, but within our daily lives for each of us and within our practice, what would it be to just allow it to be without having to grab more? What if the whole yoga practice, the whole asana practice was actually preparing you for shavasana? Think about people at this time of the year, especially in older times, further distant times where there wasn't a grocery store. And so at this time of year, it's very, very busy starting around August where you start really harvesting in things and having to, as my grandmother used to say, put them up for the winter, right? To preserve it in some way so that there was food because there wasn't the grocery store. And so you're actually preparing for the long fallow period. You're preparing for the period where the earth has called the year done and she's content with it. She doesn't have to try to grow one more apple on the tree. She lets it go and even she'll let some apples still hang on the tree and we take that cue and allow them to stay there after a certain date. And so there's this place of like, can we, it's like the earth lets it lie for six weeks to three months. 
right? She just lets it be. We tend to call that like late fall, early winter, right? Or November to February. She just lets it be. She takes Shavasana. So this is what we want to think about is like, where is it that I'm trying to grab more? Doesn't mean we don't have desires for ourselves, that there aren't places where we can um, be in greater congruence with ourselves and deeper integrity. But the idea of it being this constant grab for more is so over. And so that's where we find ourselves. We find ourselves on this day, this first full day in Scorpio, going into the deep dive, letting stuff start to, letting some apples stay on the tree and letting it be. So entering into Santosha contentment. So please take a moment and close your eyes.